What up, YouTube? It's your boy Darius. I want to thank you guys for watching. You guys could be anywhere else in the world, but you're here with me, and I really appreciate that. If you guys have any recommendations, leave it in the comment section. Uh, and make sure to subscribe to your boy. But uh, what am I about to do? I'm about to react to Evil Foster Care Mother Be Treat Kids Part Two. What happened next is shocking. <laughs> I, I, like as I we always say in the previous Evil Foster Murder, there are five parts, and we go. I, and uh, I feel like I want to do like. Each part. I want to react to each part. So this is part two. Man, the foster mother is something else. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if they got caught. Because, like, because how dare she treat the treat the young girl like that, man? You know what I'm saying? And how that's to lie to the mother? Man, people are really freaking crazy. But, but enough of that. Um, we're about to check it out. Let's get, let's get to it. I'm not your real mom. Wow. And like I said before, there are foster parents who are like that. Remember, of course, of course, I want to address the elephant in the room. Of course, they're not every foster parent out there at all. You know, you know, you have a, you have a, you have people who are great foster parents. You know, and they have, and they are, they do everything they can. You know, like they not only do they work with the child, but they also work with the parents as well. And they work with social worker, and they, and they like that. You know, like one of one of the people is my mom. See, mom, see, mommy, I'm giving you a shout out because I know you watch, I know you're gonna watch this video. But um, what we got? Uh, but like I said, there are great foster parents like there. But uh, but there are also a lot of bad foster homes out there that what that where people have all these kids in the home and they and they don't they don't want um, give they don't give two crap about them. Um, I almost use a profanity. I try not to use profanity on this run because I know my mom is gonna watch. But um, let let's, let's continue on with it. Anyways, hi, I'm here to see Olivia. Yeah. And that parents who have a nerve to lie to their parents. Hello. Man, man, I love these bootleg of Darkman video, man, because like because it's so hilarious. Honey, what did they do to you? Mom, you came back for me. Douglas, come on, we gotta go. They found out about us. Come on, we have. He said again. Look, they gonna leave the tar in the base. Three months later. Okay, man. Okay, man. So let me get. She took over. Uh, she took over. Um, their house. Uh, could, could they even afford that house? That's a nice home right there. Well, look, look, come on, man. That's a say. That's a say. Deal with our man. You guys gotta stop being inconsistent, man. You guys gotta, gotta need to get new homes. I know this is YouTube. I know this is skit and everything. And yes, I am aware that that these are fake or they are scripted. But come on, man. You guys gotta do better than that. Well, school today, honey. Oh, it was amazing. We learned how old phones work. You know, the not the line line. Your friend the T Rex with. Oh my God, I'm not that old. Yeah, like, yeah. You look like you were born in. You look like anyway. you were born in the late 80s. Uh, they're called the Touch Tones. You probably, you probably were born like in same year. You mean 1988? You probably were born what? Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Learned how they work. Oh yeah. No, I did used to use that as a kid. And you had to memorize everyone's phone number. That's true. Because we didn't have that. True that. Siri, call mom. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and you know, like nowadays, you know, like you can enter the phone number um onto your phone, and then um and then uh, worry worry about the um, worry about the phone numbers um off the top of your head. Um, you can just scroll down, and you can just find like wh whoever you want to speak to, and you just press that person. You know, like, it wasn't like back in the late 90s and early 2000s or even before then where you had to memorize everyone's telephone number and off the top of my head. Yeah, I remember yeah. a few people's phone number, but... I don't but know our phone number. See, that? that's a damn chain. It's our phone number. Well, it's 512-457. Oh, shoot. I forgot the garlic. Honey, I need you to run to the store and grab some garlic. Yeah. Uh I hope! Like, come on, man. That that one thing you definitely need to teach your children, man. You need to teach your children at least their own telephone number. You know what I'm saying? You know they need to know off the top of their head. You know that like, uh, like in case some something happens um to their phone, to their cell phone, they can um borrow somebody else somebody else's phone, and they can memorize it off the top of their head. But, but what's the number again? I'm writing it down so I can remember it. Okay, it's um five one two. Four five seven. Shoot, I forgot to get the parsley too. Okay, numbers. man, you know damn well, darn well. Okay, but the number? Yeah, what is the number? Five one two. Five one two. Four five seven. Four five seven. Oh my 
Oh, oh! Okay, Olivia, honey, I don't have time to be talking about phones right now, okay? I gotta get this recipe ready because it's the main recipe for the cookbook. It's nice. gonna make us a lot of money so we can pay for your college. Nice! Out of this crazy woman's apartment. Yo, yo, what? Yeah, why do you... Yeah, why do you guys have that crazy lady uh, apartment? But, um, it does say uh, that the father pair let, it, let them stay here. But who paid the rent? Fine. Who is paying the rent? What do you need again? I need two heads of garlic. Two heads of garlic. One parsley. Okay, one bunch of parsley. Okay, I'll be right back. Love you, Mom. Love you too, honey. Something better not happen. I swear, man. I swear, if something happens, man. They look like it's in the bottom floor. Time to rightfully take back what is mine. That Are you serious? Right, she can just leave and live a happy life? Mom, why can't we just leave her alone and you just get a normal job? Exactly! A job is a lot of hard work for barely any money. I mean, I mean that's I mean, that true for that, but still, though. Don't you have a college education? Like, why were you living that fancy home? You could get, like, uh, a basic apartment on one bedroom apartment. I mean, I know you have a kid, but still. I, I know if I have one child, I'll probably get one bedroom apartment. You know, my child can sleep in the room, and I can sleep in the living room with no, like, with no problem. But. Working 50 hours a week just to earn $500. That minimum wage. Disgusting. It's modern day slavery. But you're already banned from the foster care system. Exactly. So what's the point in getting Olivia back? Exactly. Well, let's just say your mommy is very well connected to the underground. And I know a lot of people who would pay good money for a pretty little girl like Olivia. Are you saying what? you're going to sell her? Sell her? <laughs> That's a bit harsh, Douglas. More like give her another home. It's a good deal. Olivia gets another home, and we get a lot of money. Um, I don't think that's right. It's not yeah, right. What the hell is wrong with yeah, you? I'm really happy with her role model. Douglas. Yeah. Get older. Leave her alone. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, your situation may be crappy, but come on, man. Leave a little girl alone. Let let her live with her mother. Like, what is wrong with you? No, nah, I think there's uh, seriously something wrong with her ass. And that you need to be but, selfish in order but. to survive. You're going to have to learn how to take advantage of people. If you want to live the good life. I mean. Unfortunately there are people who are like this. Like, they, they, they don't care about other people's feelings. And they're they just willing to take. And they are just willing to. Um, you know like. Take advantage of other people. Because, because they're truly selfish. They are. They're truly freaking selfish. Look at us. We're eating food from cans that we found at the homeless shelter. No human should have to live like this. I don't mind eating food from cans. That's yeah. because you don't know any better. Now let's focus. You remember the plan we discussed? Wait a minute! Did a, didn't the sun have like guitars and bass? You could sell, you could sell that. Y'all yeah, pretty sure you could get good money from that. And I think he had a laptop too. I, I I didn't see the full room, but come on, you can like like there was something in there that where you could sell. Or you know, or you know, I think what happened was the foster parents uh, probably uh like the foster care system probably uh possessed of all that. But let's get to you all, man. You're going to step out. And you're going to tell Olivia that you're in trouble and that you need help. You're going to tell her you dropped your inhaler somewhere in the van and that she needs to help you find it. But remember, you need to act like you're not breathing. You got it? I said you got it. Yes. All right. What? And knowing Wait, what? Why didn't it? Why didn't the system take away the sun? It's like, like, and what? Why is she not in prison? Why is she not in prison? The way, the way she treated Olivia, you know, she should be in jail for that. Why she not in prison? Well, you know, take take the sun away. The sun does not deserve this BS. Choose Olivia. She will waste no time in trying to help, and this will teach her a lesson about what happens to good people who help everyone. Like help people, but don't be taken okay. advantage of. She's here now, Douglas. Douglas, I said now. No oh, man, this is not right, man. Don't do it. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh my god, are you okay? Oh! Uh, what's wrong? Douglas? What are you doing here? Yeah! Uh, are you having another asthma attack? Where's your inhaler? I dropped it. It's a very nice. It's okay. You can tell you can tell it's faking! No! 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 
What? I can't hear you. Run! Get the f- Well, get the F out! I don't understand. Get the F out! Run, she's coming! Oh! Oh! Hey, back. You belong to me. You really think your mama's going to save you? Your pain is just about to begin. Douglas, help. Yeah, help her, man. Douglas, get up here now. That's a messed up car. Please help me. I, want, I wonder how much they pay for that car. All that you wanted to do was go to the store. Yes, I need to file a missing persons report for Smart. my daughter. Smart my move. Daughter, she's 14 years old and she's been gone for an hour. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we can't file a missing persons report within the first 24 hours. I that BS! That BS! Because, uh, because, yeah, um, any, they say any time your child goes missing, you actually could file a missing person report. That is, but that is BS. As a matter of fact, we're going to look it up right now. Give me one second, y'all. Can you file a missing... Damn it. Missing person within 24 hours. That yeah, I'm pretty sure this is California. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they live in Cali. So that's it. There's no waiting period for reporting a person missing. Come on, and people wonder why people don't have faith in the in the judicial system. Understand what you mean. My daughter is missing. She's 14. I can't wait 24 hours for her to get back. Exactly. Please, please just help me. Get off me. Shut up. Someone help. Shut up. I'm glad you started finding her using her voice now. Now you stay here while I see how much money I can sell you for. There are a lot of people out there that would be interested in a girl like you. What do you that mean? Is that is disgusting. You, gonna be you know, like she was, she wanted to sell somebody to human trafficking, um, to, uh, for human trafficking, uh, just so she could traffic this girl. And for what? Because like because she need money. It it'll be better if you just freaking rob rob a liquor store. At least at least then we we can understand that you're broke. You know, you know what I'm saying, but no, you have to go do something drastic and kidnap a young girl because, like, just, like just because uh, you're trying to screw the foster care system. I'm enslaved for the rest of your miserable life, and they're not going to be as nice as me. You can't do that. You really it's can't. Against the law. The law. <laughs> and she don't give a damn. You really don't know how the world works. The I know the world doesn't work system. like this. And besides, who's going to stop me? Your ugly fat mom. Please. Why you got why you got this her why you got this a mother like that, man? Just like Timmy got your ass got caught? Man. Please help me. God? <laughs> there is no God in this world. Wow I stopped answering prayers a long time ago. That's not true. That's not true. You know what I'm saying? You know, like that like that that only for people like who want like who want to man manipulate people, but but I, but I can tell you that God really do assist. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it is very important to uh, to believe in God. You know what I'm saying? All right, all you know, all you know, you gotta believe like even let's say you don't believe like a religion. In it, like you need to believe. I I think there is a higher being. You know, a higher that something that greater us. You know, like, maybe it's like the Jehovah, maybe it's Allah, maybe it's just the universe. But I believe there is a God. You know what I'm saying? I do believe He answers prayers. I believe that everything happens. You know, like on time. With that being said, this. This type of stuff should not be happening at all. Looks like the offers are already coming through. Wow. I'll be back in a couple of hours. 
And don't even think about wasting your time screaming for help, because nobody is going to be able to hear you down here. This is disgusting. Look, that probably a window, but it's not a window. There's no key. But that they got basketball and everything. Oh, call nine one one. Oh, that oh, it's working. to get some garlic and then my foster mom kidnapped me and now she's trying to sell me and slow down honey I need you to calm down that's as slow as you can get oh my god there are dispatchers who are really this much of an a-hole just like my Richard Sherman video I did a while ago deep breaths okay 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 now let's start Come with on. your first and last name my name is Olivia I almost forgot to give you some lunch. I'm gonna need you well fed and looking healthy if I'm gonna get the best offer out of you. How do I know the food isn't poisoned? Because if I wanted to kill you, I would have done it with my own hands. I don't believe you. Get away! Stop it, you ungrateful rat! I'm finally giving you some food and this is how you treat me? Now you wanna give her some food! Uh, uh, you animal! And because of that, you're gonna eat your food like an animal. Off the floor. Uh, what was that? What? I heard a voice. I didn't hear anything, but you know what? This food looks delicious. And I'm actually really hungry. So, here, let me try some. <laughs> this food is so good. The flavor. Shut up. Oh. I'm sorry. It's just I'm really hungry. Shut up. You little dumpster rat. Come on, Leah, fight, fight, fight. No, no, please stop. Everyone should be treated with respect and kindness. Oh, my God, you guys should look going on with part three, yo. Oh my god, we gotta save Olivia, man. You know, how, how dare they treat Olivia like this, man? This is some BS, man. Oh man, this stuff made me mad, man. Cause there are people who are really just evil, man. Man, let's, let's finish what she had to say. And remember to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Hey, we are. We are going to see more feel like this. What do you guys think of this particular feel? Let me know. Comment down below. Leave a like. Subscribe to your boy. You can check out my previous uh, video where I did an evil foster, uh, evil foster murder on uh, part one. Peace, love, and rock and roll.